the BFG. The giant picked up the trembling Sophie with one hand and carried her across the cave and put her on the table. Now he really is going to eat me, Sophie thought. The giant sat down and stared hard at Sophie. He had truly enormous ears. Each one was as big as the wheel of a truck and he seemed to be able to move them inwards and outwards from his head as he wished. I is hungry, the giant boomed. He grinned, showing massive square teeth. The teeth were very white and very square and they sat in his mouth like huge slices of white bread. But please don't eat me. Sophie stammered. The giant let out a bellow of laughter. Just because I is a giant, you think I is a man goblin cannibal? He shouted. You is about right. Giants is all cannibally and murderful, and they does gobble up human beings. We is in giant country now. Giants is everywhere around. Out there, us has the famous bone crunching giant. Bone crunching giant crunches up two whoopsie whiffling human beings for supper every night. Noise is ear bursting. Noise of crunching bones goes crackety crack for miles around. Ouch, Sophie said. Bone crunching giant only gobbles human beings from Turkey, the giant said. Every night, Bone Cruncher is galloping off to Turkey to gobble Turks. Sophie's sense of patriotism was suddenly so bruised by this remark that she became quite angry. Why Turks? she blurted out. What's wrong with the English? Bone Crunching Giant says Turks is tasting oh ever so much juicier and more scrumdily umptious. Bone Cruncher says Turkish human beings has a glamoury flavour. He says Turks from Turkey is tasting of Turkey. I suppose they would, Sophie said. Of course they would, the giant shouted. Every human being is diddly and different. Some is scrum diddly and some is ucky slush. Greeks is all full of ucky slush. No giant is eating Greeks ever. Why not? Sophie asked. Greeks from Greece is all tasting greasy, the giant said. I imagine that's possible too, Sophie said. She was wondering with a bit of a tremble what all this talking about eating people was leading up to. Whatever happened, she simply must play along with this peculiar giant and smile at his jokes. But were they jokes? Perhaps the great brute was just working up an appetite by talking about food. As I am saying, the giant went on, all human beings is having different flavours. Human beings from Panama is tasting very strong of hats. Why hats? Sophie said. You is not very clever, the giant said, moving his great ears in and out. I thought all human beings is full of brains, but your head is emptier than a bun dungle. Do you like vegetables? Sophie asked, hoping to steer the conversation towards a slightly less dangerous kind of food. You was trying to change the subject, the giant said sternly. We is having an interesting babblement about the taste of the human being. The human being is not a vegetable. Oh, but the bean is a vegetable, Sophie said. Not the human bean, the giant said. The human bean has two legs and a vegetable has no legs at all. Sophie didn't argue any more. The last thing she wanted to do was to make the giant cross. The human bean, the giant went on, is coming in dillions of different flavours. For instance, human beans from Wales is tasting very whooshy of fish. There is something very fishy about whales. You mean whales, Sophie said, 
Wales is something quite different. Wales is Wales, the giant said. Don't gobble funk around with words. I will now give you another example. Human beings from Jersey has a most distinguishable woolly tickle on the tongue, the giant said. Human beings from Jersey is tasting of cardigans. You mean jerseys, Sophie said. You are once again gobble funking, the giant shouted. Don't do it. This is a serious and snitching subject. May I continue? Please do, Sophie said. Danes from Denmark is tasting ever so much of dogs, the giant went on. Of course, Sophie said. They taste of Great Danes. Wrong, cried the giant, slapping his thigh. Danes from Denmark is tasting doggy because they is tasting of Labradors. Then what do the people of Labrador taste of? Sophie asked. Danes, the giant cried triumphantly. Great Danes! Aren't you getting a bit mixed up? Sophie said. I is a very mixed up giant, the giant said, but I does do my best. And I is not nearly as mixed up as the other giants. I know one who gallops all the way to Wellington for his supper. Wellington, Sophie said. Where is Wellington? Your head is full of squashed flies, the giant said. Wellington is in New Zealand. The human beings in Wellington has an especially scrumdily umptious taste. So says the welly eating giant. What do the people of Wellington taste of? Sophie asked. Boots, the giant said. Of course, Sophie said. I should have known. Sophie decided that this conversation had now gone on long enough. If she was going to be eaten, she'd rather get it over and done with right away than be kept hanging around any more. What sort of human beings do you eat? she asked, trembling. Me! shouted the giant, his mighty voice making the glass jars rattle on their shelves. Me gobbling up human beings? This I never. The others, yes, all the others is gobbling them up every night, but not me. I is a freaky giant. I is a nice and jumbly giant. I is the only nice and jumbly giant in giant country. I is the big friendly giant. I is the BFG. What is your name? My name is Sophie, Sophie said, hardly daring to believe the good news she had just heard. 